This is what that mallet started out looking like. This is a chunk of elm. It was a big elm branch that fell in the yard. This is an apple branch that trimmed off of our apple tree. Where else would you get apple branches from? Now the easiest way, obviously, to make a mallet would be to take a chunk of wood, drill a hole in it, and put a stick in it. And you've made yourself a hammer or a mallet. But we're going to get a little more complex than that. Now the first step to making this square is to get one flat side. Now I'm sure there's going to be some folks who are going to be very upset because I'm not being safe. I assure you I am wearing shoes today. Before I sand this, I'm going to look over for any holes, cracks, splits. What I'm going to do is use some super thin CA glue and fill them in. Maybe that's a bad idea. If I'm wrong, this is the internet. I'm sure somebody will leave a comment and tell me how wrong I am. Wear a mask when you're sanding, uh, especially when you're sanding this glue. So our next thing will be to figure out which side of this is going to be the top and which side is going to be the bottom so we can drill a hole for our handle. Can I see my pencil for a second? So rather than doing math and dividing this in half, easy way to do this Ow! is to ow, just put... Ow, 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 ow. You're going to live? Ow. Okay. Easy way to do this is to put your rule at an angle. Zero here. And then move it until you get a easy to divide number on this side. Like three. And then mark half. One and a half. And that will be our center. We can do the same this way. Thanks, Mulan. And then we'll drill a hole through it. to do is measure out my 5 eighths by 3 quarters square and then I'll cut those down so that they fit in here make them long enough so that they stand a little high and then we can finish up the rest of the handle Could have done better. Now these look a bit different than they did a second ago. So what happened? Uh, I glued them up and once the glue had dried I went to look at them and things had not gone well. Um, this one I had not really cut the handle very square so when I put it in, the handle was all sorts of offset. So what I did to kind of correct it was change to the shape of the head a little bit to make it sit a little more square with the handle. So this one was the larger one. This head was about that long. The head was just too large. The handle was very thin and it had this big crook. It was kind of bent at the bottom. So I cut the handle off and the head was then just too big. So these hammers right now are really, really lightweight. Elm is not a super dense wood. So what I'm going to do 
is something that I learned on the internet. I did it with this hammer and it seemed to work. I put them in this tray face down and we're going to fill this with um, boiled linseed oil. And we're just going to let them soak here. The idea is that we're going to let the wood draw up as much linseed oil as possible and just capture that little bit of extra weight in these pieces of wood. I don't know that it really works, so this is a bit of a science experiment. We're going to weigh these and see how much they weigh before we do this. So this hammer weighs 9.4 ounces. This hammer, 11.7 ounces. weigh these things um, before I do anything else 10.2 ounces and that one started at 9.4 so almost an ounce heavier 12.2 and that one started at 11.7 so that extra ounce may not seem like a lot of weight but you can definitely feel it just holding this the difference so the next thing I'm going to do is go and chamfer all of the edges on this thing I've already started on this edge here going around so I'm going to finish all of these edges and then I will wipe it down with linseed oil one more time just to cover any exposed edges and then we will be finished made out of firewood turning some chunks and scraps branches that otherwise would have gone onto the burn pile turned them into a couple of hammers a couple of little mallets are these the best woodworking mallets absolutely not is this the easiest way to make a hammer or a mallet out of scrap pieces of wood absolutely not it would be far faster to just drill a round hole through a round piece of wood, put a handle in there, you could sand it up, polish it up. It would probably look fantastic. I like the way that these look though. This takes a little more work. It's one that I built two years ago. Um, I've done some significant pounding with this, more than I thought it would survive, and it's still holding up quite well. That is making hammers out of scrap wood. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what's on your mind. I appreciate you all, and I will see you next time. Oh, my hands are gross.